Okay, in this very, very short video, I'm just uh, going to explain something which we have already established in the Lean Solver project in the previous video, where we have created our uh, small project with a module which was written by uh, us and which was not a Python module. And therefore, we should talk how uh, user written modules can be uh, done in Python and how can be then used in Python. So if you if you go to that project and uh, there are, this project consists of two files and uh, the main file which contains basically the functionality of the solver of our linear systems of equation was packaged in the solvers.py file and this is basically uh, every file you can just think about every file every Python file uh, is basically a module who should be a module uh, basically um, built up. It should start as well as every Python object is to start with a doc string. So the module doc string basically just write a string at the beginning of the file, which uh, shortly summarizes uh, what this module uh, is good for or what it contains. Then the usual import statements should follow. And then you can basically here define your functions uh, or classes later, which this module is supposed to offer to other scripts. Uh, which can access the which wants to access the functionality of this module. Modules are important because we can just basically enable this as a logical structuring and reusability, right? So if you are writing this linear system of equation solver in the module, then you can use it not just in this project but any other projects which needs a linear system uh, solver. Modules themselves we have used already, so basically there is nothing new which I'm telling you. Um, you are using the import statement in order to access a module, and we had the same already with the NumPy module, which was a third-party module but installed in the Python distribution. Now we are in, uh, here importing a module which was written by us, but it doesn't make any difference. So basically, you are using the name of the file is uh, without the .py extension is also the name of the module. So you are using uh, the file was called uh, called solvers.py, and therefore we are just uh, importing the solvers module by saying import solvers. And in order to access the functionality, the the objects which are de defined in the module, so in our case the functions which are defined in the module, we are using just the name of the module and then the dot separator. And then we are using the object, the function which we want to call. So there's nothing different to what uh, we are already used when we are accessing functionality of the NumPy module. The only difference is that this module was now written by us, and this is a file which we created. Now, the question you can ask okay, but how does Python know where to look for a certain module, especially if we write the module? And the reason why this uh, worked out of the box in our project, because the first thing Python looks up is a local directory. So if there is a test solvers.py, which uses import solvers, then the first thing Python would do is look whether in the local directory there is a solvers.py script. And this was the case uh, in our project, and therefore it worked out of the box. If this um, module is somewhere else, uh, then usually you can use the Python pass environment variable to add those directories which may contain modules you would like to import uh, to the Python uh, lookup uh, paths. And uh, finally, um, if Python looked up all the directories which were which are listed in the Python pass environment variable and didn't find it, then it starts to look up the directories of the and the modules in the Python distribution uh, itself. It's very important that you are not using uh, uh, your own module, uh, the same names which are the Python uh, default modules, because Python would look up uh, and uh, maybe find your module first and not the one which you are actually really wanted to look up. The Python uh, pass, uh, environmental variable is very simple. You can just uh, basically it's a string which contains the directories which should look uh, which should be looked up, the full path to the directories which should be looked up for modules. Uh, for example, here in this example, I have two directories and the directories should be separated by a, by a colon from each other. If you want to set it up permanently, uh, then uh, for example, you can put uh, this export statements. The export statement would set uh, the Python password to a certain value and make sure that every process which is started from uh, from that uh, shell uh, inherits and sees this setting. So for example, you can just set it into dot bash rc file, which we had already uh, edited in one of the other videos where you can just uh, set up uh, initialization uh, commands and the initialization bash command would be just export Python pass and the value of the variable. So if, if you have special directories where you want to put your own modules uh, in the, and you want to make sure that they can be found, then you can set up this variable if you wish. 
the last thing I want I would like to st uh, tell about modules is that uh, I already told you that basically every Python file can be considered as the module and actually every Python file should be considered as a module. If you think about the test solvers.py file in our Lint Solver project, basically the only um, um, task of these test solvers is to uh, run the test, sub, uh, the, the test functions uh, one after the other. So basically it's not really a module, it's, just, it's a script which we want to um, execute from the command line or from, uh, from our graphical user environment or IDE. Now, nevertheless, it's very important that even those files which uh, just, just should be executed but not imported, you write as if, if it were a module because then you allow other Python scripts actually not just to execute this, but also import as a module. Why? What, what do you have to consider? You have to consider that every statement you want to execute, every executable statement, which is not a definition, not a function definition, not a class definition, not a constant global variable definition, should be put into a function. So basically, uh, it's a good practice to define a main function which contains the executable part, which should be executed if the if this command uh, is run as a script, for example, in in a terminal window. And then, if you need other uh, other uh, functions, then of course you can define also other functions which you then call uh, from the main function. Uh, the advantage of this uh, scenario is that basically no an other Python script could just uh, could just uh, import this module. So it could say import test solver. And if the test solver module would be imported, nothing would be run, nothing would be executed. Only the functions which are defined in the test solver would be defined, and then the importing script would be free. Just for example, just to call uh, test one, but not the other functions. So basically, you have the full choice what what, what you want to do with your module, with the content of to, of of your module. Of course, it's very important to ensure that if you run the script as a, uh, from from a terminal window, so if you execute it, so you do not import it, but really execute it from a command line then the, this function, uh, the, the, the content of the main subroutine or the, the main function is automatically executed. And that you can do with this magic, uh, magic two lines, which is written here. So basically, there is an internal variable of Python, which is called underscore underscore. So twice underscore name and twice underscore again. And if this variable is equal, has the special value, the string main. So basically, uh, in uh, two underscores main two underscores as a string, then you know that your script has been has been really called as a script, so not imported as a module, but really called as a script. And then you can tell Python, okay, in that case, but only in that case, call the main function, which would then then call all the uh, all the harder functions, which must be executed. But otherwise, if somebody just imports your script, then basically this uh, condition would be false, so it won't be executed. And therefore, uh, basically, the, the caller who is importing your module has full control what to execute at the end.